Four-year-old Landon Weber is one of two little boys we told you about that have spent a lot of time in hospitals. So, mommy, how big you are? The mothers of both little boys were under investigation by Children's Protective Services for medical child abuse. That happens when, for one reason or another, the, the medical system is used to perpetrate phys- physical abuse on the child. While both cases are ongoing, we have a dramatic development when it comes. To little Landon. You're walking in your new walker? His mother, as well as some doctors, say Landon has a rare disorder called mitochondrial disease. Some studies claim the symptoms of that disease can cause false allegations of medical child abuse to be lodged against parents. And I think in the first case... Two months ago, this is what CBS had to say about Landon's mother. She's having to care for a child who has a lot of uh, medical needs. He's medically fragile and that she just and the family needs just training. But now CBS believes the exact opposite, that Landon Weber is the victim of medical child abuse. I think we were all a little surprised. CBS had an independent medical evaluation done on Landon. Just days ago, that doctor testified in court, Landon has no medical condition whatsoever. His problems are because of his mother. I think that given the findings that we have, that the parents have been involved in some medical child abuse. I'm horrified. The court testimony accusing Landon's parents and even possibly his grandparents of causing his medical problems came as a shock to the Webbers. It must have been tough listening to some of this stuff. Yeah, it is. It's about the worst thing you could you could have to do as a parent. Landon has feeding and ostomy bags attached to his body. His digestive system has been considered dysfunctional. The doctor hired by CPS testified those bags had an unknown substance in them that could cause infections. They were not able to find out what exactly was in the bags, but still it was a kind of a suspicious and concerning circumstance. The judge granted CPS's request that Landon's parents and his paternal grandparents have absolutely no contact with him, not even supervised visits. It's crazy. This is not justice. Charles Weber says cops ordered his wife out of Landon's hospital room. About five minutes after the court hearing, a police officer escorts her out of the room. And tits are out of the building. That's ridiculous. The frustrating thing is that CPS doesn't do their job. Attorney Chris Branson accuses CPS of ignoring doctors who say Landon is really sick. So they not only want to take the child away from the parents and grandparents, uh, they appear to want to put the parents in jail as well. CPS's next move, terminating the Weber's parental rights. I'm extremely concerned, um, especially since we haven't actually done anything to to harm them. It's a terrible thing that's happening and it needs to be stopped. While CPS insists there is nothing physically wrong with Landon, his parents say they will do what they've been doing for six months. They will fight. Randy Wallace, Fox 26, investigates.